Hi there, welcome to this video. So in this video, we're talking about the Wii U, more specifically, the Wii U Drive. And so just to tell you what the Wii U is, the Wii U is the successor to the very popular Wii. And this is the gamepad, and this gamepad is required for the Wii U. And so this Wii, uh, the Wii U didn't particularly do very well. It sold around 13 million and it was discontinued in 2017. In its place was the uh, Nintendo Switch, the very, very popular Nintendo Switch. But a lot of its ideas from the Wii uh, U was brought over to the Switch and yeah, it's a, uh, the, uh, the Switch is an incredible system. But I wanted to talk about this. This is the game. Uh, this is the uh, the game drive. Basically, the drive that basically allows you to put discs into the Wii U. And one of one of the uh, common faults with these drives is basically when a disc goes in, um, it basically would stop halfway through, or it would go in and it would start crunching. It would be, it, and it would spit it back out. It would try it twice. It would do. Um, unfortunately, I've not found a fix for that, and so what I want to do in this video is kind of tell you what to do if you plan on replacing the drive, okay? Now, one thing is to note is that um, the main, the, the boards to these drives are paired to the Wii U, so you cannot put, you cannot buy a drive online and then basically put it into the Wii U and expect it to work. It won't work. It basically, it will refuse to turn on the Wii U and until you actually replace it with that board. So I wanted to show you things to do and things not to do when replacing these uh, these drives um, um, and replacing the main board, the boards over. So, so let's get started. And I just wanted to uh, tell you that this is a Panasonic drive and from what I know, there's only one variation of these drives, and it's just the Panasonic ones. When you take apart your system, uh, remember to clip it from here, and, and then basically um, you'll get access to this drive. Always kind of like use uh, like um, plastic spuggers. These will always help uh, to remove it. So if you use that, it'll take it off instead of breaking it off uh, with like using your now. So, um let's start off by taking this apart so what i'm going to do is i've got two screws here and i'm going to take these off so these screws come off like that so and then that's it so now take off the the top cover and now you're going to be exposed to the actual drive. This is the actual arms that basically allow you to put a disc in. And this is the part that basically breaks or this part here. Basically these parts here, which are the parts that move, will break. And uh, they're quite common, uh, commonly foul on Wii U's. Now, when you've got a new drive, for, for example, for, this is, for example, let's say this is a new drive. And you're going to swap the board from your other drive and put it into this board. So what's the one thing to not do? Do not repl do not take these screws off. These screws here, do not take them off. If you take them off, it basically resets these arms and then you're, you've got problems after and you've got, you basically face the same issues you did last time you did, uh, where the, the, the disc won't accept it. What you want to do is you want to replace, uh, or you want to take um, a screw. You want to take to take the screws off, which are these four screws here, and you've got three screws which are here, small little tiny ones. One, and you've got two, and you've got three screws here. So let's begin by taking these screw three screws off it, the tiny ones, and then we'll take the big ones off. So. So if we go here, so that's one screw. That's another one. And then we have this one here. So 
I guess I can get to it. There we go. So we've got those screws out, the small tiny ones, we do. And now we need to um, change the screw head, we do, because these are much larger, uh, larger screw heads they are. So let's begin with this one first. So take this one off. And then we're going to take this one off here. If they're a bit tricky, don't worry, just don't worry about it. And, uh, you just leave them where they are, and they'll, they'll, they'll come off with, with the drive they will. So, um, another thing also to remember is to not take this screw off as well, just leave it because um, the replacement drives will have these, and these are not paired to uh, the Wii's. Uh, it's, it's, I'll show you in a second what the ball is. So, once you've got the screw out, the screws out. Lift it like that, so you take it out, lift it, and then you can remove this part here, put it to one side, and we're now going to turn it, we are. So there we are. So, let me just get these screws out quickly, we are. So, hold on. So, then we've got the two screws here. Put this over him. So here we have um, basically the underside of the disk drive and the most important part of this whole drive is this board here. This is what's uh, married to the Wii U. So you've only got four ribbon cables uh, basically attached to it, you do. Um, and you also have to take one screw out because this is actually uh, soldered to the board. So let's go and uh, slowly, uh, I'm going to show you how to remove these. So for this part, this bit here, this is the ribbon cable for the laser. You want to carefully go underneath it and then lift it. So oh, go underneath it like that and it will take it off. It will. So that's off, that is. We're now going to go for a smaller head screwdriver, we are. Back to the smaller head we are. And we're now gonna take this screw out, we are. And we can just take this off like that, perfectly. The next thing to do is go around the side and there is a ribbon cable here. And now you can just basically get like a small bit here, you can. Um, that can slowly pull it out for you. Um, or you can use it now, which will probably be a lot better than doing it this way. So, so let me just, there you go. So that's out, the room cable's out there. And what you're gonna do now, put it back down like that way. So the room cable's from here is off. And now you've got two uh, ribbon cables left, uh, two ribbon cables left to take out. All you gotta do is lift this up from here, lift it, and just slowly pull it out. Don't force it, just, just slowly pull it and then it'll come out. And there it is, that's your main board there. So there's your main board. This is the board you need to swap over to your new drive. And you do, basically you've copied the same process again. So in reverse, so reverse process and and then put all the cables back in and then you've got your drive working again. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you, I will. Thank you so much for watching this video and until the next video, bye for now.